Hello, good day viewers. Today we want to talk about integration by part. Integration by part is only applicable to functions that are expressed in a product form. Most importantly, when the functions are entirely different, but jointly depend on a single variable. Again, integration by part is unique and special because it has a particular formula which is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to derive this formula as well as which function to decide as u and which to decide as dv. Let y equals uv where u and v are functions of x u is a function of x and also v is another function of x since u and v are all functions of x to differentiate y you have to apply product rule. so the derivative of y with respect to x which is dy over dx is now going to be you said one of the function constant u as a constant then you differentiate v dv over dx then you add now we are going to keep v constant and differentiate u with respect to x v du over dx so this is how to take the derivative of y with respect to x for which u and v are functions of x now since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side we can multiply each of these terms by dx. If we multiply these terms by dx, all dx will be eliminated, thereby having only dy from the left hand side equals u dv plus v du. We are going to take the integral of each of these terms. The integral of this, the integral of this, and the integral of this. If you integrate dy, you are going to obtain y. And this remains the integral of u dv plus the integral of v du. But initially, we have set y to be equal to uv. Therefore, y equal to uv, we can substitute uv with y. So therefore we have uv equals to the whole of these terms. What we are going to do next is to subtract this term from both sides. So we are going to subtract the integral of v du v du. So therefore this will cancel this. Therefore we see the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Now let us take our first example. So first we are asked to evaluate the integral of x, exponential x with respect to x. The question remains which function to set as u and which function to set as dv. There is an acronym that will help us to determine which function to set as u. And the acronym is L-I-A-T-E. This is the acronym. L stands for log functions. I stands for inverse trig functions. Inverse trig functions. A stands for algebraic functions. T stands for trigonometric functions and the E stands for exponential functions. To determine the function to set as u, you follow these functions in ascending order. For instance, here that we have x exponential x, we want to find out which function to set as u. Do we have log function? We don't have any log function here. 
inverse trig function we don't have any here algebraic function we have an algebraic function which is x therefore we are going to set our u to be equal to x and the, the remaining function is going to be set as dv so our dv will now be equal to exponential x dx we are going to take the derivative of u with respect to x and take the integral of dv with respect to x so du over dx will now be equal to 1 because if we differentiate x we are going to obtain 1 if we multiply both sides by dx we are going to obtain du equals to dx therefore du is equal to dx now what we are going to do here we are going to take the integral of dv and as well as the integral of exponential x dx if we take the integral of dv we are going to obtain v and to the other side if we take the integral of exponential x we are still going to get exponential x but we don't have to write plus c because we are not done with our integration so now let us substitute everything back into the main formula now what we have here is u dv which is equal to this this is equal to u dv and our uv here we have u as x and the v our v is exponential x minus the integral of v our v here is exponential x du our du is dx so we have dx we are moving further this is equal to x exponential x minus if you take the integral of exponential x with respect to x you are going to get exponential x plus our constant of integration c now you can factorize exponential x because these two terms have exponential x in common so this is equal to exponential x in the bracket we have x minus 1 plus the constant of integration and to the left hand side this is the integral of x exponential x dx which is equal to the whole of this expiration